you know already modulus of 3 is nothing but the positive value when log of modulus of x is equal to x when x is greater than 0. So wherever x is there, upper limit you are going to put 2 and then open the bracket with the minus in symbol and then open the bracket and then apply x is equals to 1. Cause 0 value is 1. So second 0 also 1. 1 by 1 is always 1. So log of second 0 value is 1. Students, a warm welcome to one and all. My name is Vibha, Mathematics Faculty at Vidyashram Pre-University College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In the last session, we have learned many problems on definite integrals, isn't it? And in today's session, dear students, we are having a session number 18 and chapter number 7 called integrals. And what are the topics under this session we are going to study? A simple problems on a first fundamental theorem of a integral calculus and then also second fundamental theorem you are going to have it as. Then we'll be looking on to what do you mean by the first fundamental theorem of integral calculus? It says like this, dear students. Let f be a continuous function on the closed interval a and b and then you are having a of x be the area of the function then a dash of x is given by f of x for all x belongs to the closed interval a comma b. Understood? So this is the first theorem. So that means you are going to find out the area of the curve and then you are going to apply the limits of A and B dear students. Just you have to know this theorem. Okay. Next we will be moving on to the second fundamental theorem. The calculus says that let f be the continuous function uh, defined on the closed interval A comma B such that and f be an antiderivative of x. In the first it was the area of the function. Here I have taken the antiderivative of the given function and then it is defined as integral a to b f of x dx it is giving the answer as f of x so from the interval a to b where a is a lower limit of the function b is the upper limit of the function you are going to apply f of b minus f of a so this is the second theorem of the integral calculus ds now, based on this theorems, let us move on to solving the problems. What is the first problem they have given here, dears? They have given integral minus 1 to 1 x plus 1 into dx, isn't it? Now, you know how to integrate that one. Now, let us split that integral. You are having integral of minus 1 to 1 x dx, x into dx plus integral minus 1 to 1, 1 into dx. So, which implies that you can have x into dx integral is nothing but x squared divided by 2 plus uh, from the limit minus 1 to 1 plus 1 into dx is nothing but x from the limit minus 1 to 1. Anyway, this is also from the limit minus 1 to 1. This is also from the limit minus 1 to 1. Therefore, together I can write it as x squared divided by 2 plus x from the limit minus 1 to 1. Okay. Now, you are going to apply upper limit first which is 1 to whole function and then minus symbol you are going to apply the lower limit wherever x is there that is nothing but replacing x is equals to minus 1 which will be giving you the answer first let me apply the upper limit which will be 1 square divided by 2 plus 1 wherever x is there upper limit minus open the bracket minus 1 whole square divided by 2 plus minus 1 okay so therefore, you can have 1 square divided by 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 plus 1. Now here, minus 1 squared by 2 is nothing but plus 1 squared by 2 only, which is 1. So you can multiply minus symbol, minus into plus is minus 1 by 2. Again here, minus into plus is minus, minus into minus is plus plus 1. So, plus half minus half will get cancelled. 1 plus 1 remaining is nothing but the 2. And this is your answer for this question, dears. Understood? I hope you understood this one, how to apply the upper limit and the lower limit. Once again, I am going to tell you that, see first apply the upper limit wherever x is there, apply 1, 1 and then minus symbol, open the bracket wherever x is there, apply minus 1 which is a lower limit, okay. And then you are going to get that answer. Now, we will be moving on to the next problem, dears. They have given the question like this, integral 2 to 3, 1 by x into tx. Directly, you know how to get the answer for this one. It is nothing but log of modulus of x. So, therefore, you can have log of modulus of x from the limit 2 to 3. 
Now applying the upper limit first log of modulus of 3 minus log of modulus of 2. You know already modulus of 3 is nothing but the positive value when log of modulus of x is equal to x when x is greater than 0. So therefore I can write this one as log of 3 that is log 3 minus log 2. This is like log m minus log n. Log m minus log n is nothing but log m by n. So therefore you can have log m that is nothing but 3 divided by 2. And this is your final answer. You are going to get it as DS for the given question. I hope you understood that step. We'll be moving on to the next problem. Integral 1 to 2. 4x cube minus 5x squared plus 6x plus 9 into dx. Now directly without separating the limit, I am going to integrate this problem. Now here, integral of, see 4 I am going to take outside. Integral of x cube is nothing but x to the power of 4 divided by 4. Similarly, minus 5 as it is, I am going to write it. x squared integration is nothing but x cube divided by 3 plus 6 as it is I am going to write it x into dx integration is nothing but x squared divided by 2. Similarly plus 9 as it is I am going to write it 1 into dx integral is nothing but x. From the limit you are going to apply the given limit is 1 to 2, upper limit is 2 and lower limit is nothing but 1 they have given. Now here let me cancel whatever the term will be. So 4, 4 will get cancelled, x power 4 is remaining, minus 5 by 3 as it is I am going to write it into x cube, again 2 ones are, 2 threes are, so therefore you are having 3x squared plus 9x, so from the limit 1 to 2. Now first apply for whole term the upper limit, so wherever x is there, upper limit you are going to put 2 and then open the bracket with the minus in symbol and then open the bracket and then apply x is equals to 1. That is the lower limit. Okay. Then you will not get confused if you apply like that. So, so applying the upper limit first. So, it will become 2 to the power of 4 minus 5 by 3 into 2 cube plus 3 into 2 squared plus 9 into 2. Isn't it? Minus open the bracket. Now apply wherever x is there 1, 1 to the power of 4 minus 5 by 3 into 1 cube plus 3 into 1 square plus 9 into 1. Right. Close the bracket because minus symbol is there. Now you can simplify this 2 to the power of 4 is nothing but 16. So which implies that 16 minus 5 by 3 into 5 by 3 into 2 cube is nothing but 8, 8 again plus 3 into 2 squared is nothing but 4 plus 9 into 2 is nothing but 18. Again minus open the bracket 1 to the power of 4 is 1 minus 5 by 3 into 1 cube is 5 by 3 again plus 3 into 1 squared is nothing but 3 again plus 9 into 1 is nothing but 9. Now taking the LCM this you know that 3 4s are 12 so you can add up 12 plus 18 is nothing but you are going to get it as 40. 40 plus 16 is nothing but 56, isn't it? Now will be further simplification of this. See, 3 4s are 12. 12 plus 18 is nothing but 30. 30 plus 16 is nothing but 46. So writing that 46 minus 8 5s are 40 divided by 3. Now minus, see you can have 9 plus 3 plus 1 which is nothing but 13, 9 plus 4 is 13, 13 you can multiply minus sign inside, minus into plus is nothing but minus 13, again here minus into minus is nothing but plus 5 by 3, okay. Now you can further simplify this one, 46 minus 13 gives you the answer 33 minus, again you can take the LCM over here, so minus 40 plus 5 divided by 3 which is the answer is 33 minus 40 plus 5 minus 40 plus 5 is nothing but what which is 35 isn't it so 35 divided by 3 so therefore 3 3 is a 9 by taking lcm 99 minus 35 divided by 3 so 99 minus 35 by 3 gives you 64 divided by 3 and this is your final answer dear students. I hope you are getting this step. 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. So minus into plus 13 is minus 13. Again minus into minus is nothing but plus 5 by 3. Understood? And then further simplified. 
Now we'll be moving on to the next question what they've asked. Integral 0 to pi by 4 sine 2x into dx. How to integrate this one? It is nothing but their sine 2x differentiation is 2 sine x into 2 sine 2x. Here 2 will be divided. There it will be multiplied. So therefore directly writing the answer. Integral of sine 2x is minus cos 2x divided by 2. Isn't it? From the limit 0 to pi by 4. Now you can have which implies first apply the upper limit minus cos 2x is nothing but pi by 4 divided by 2 minus open the bracket again minus of cos 2 into 0 because you are having x is nothing but 0 divided by 2. Now we have applied the upper limit and the lower limit now simplify now you can have 2 ones are 2 2 za. So therefore minus cos pi by 2 divided by 2 again minus c minus into minus which is nothing but plus cos 2 into 0 is 0 divided by 2. Now you can further have the answer will be cos pi by 2 which is a cos 90 degree. Cos 90 degree is always 0. So therefore 0 by 2 plus cos 0 value is 1 so implies that which implies so cos 90 degree is 0 neglecting the negative sign so 0 by 2 again plus cos 0 value is 1 by 2 0 by 2 is 0 0 plus 1 by 2 gives you the answer 1 by 2 and this is your final answer for this question dear students i hope you got this one we'll be moving on to the next problem now so what they've asked integral 0 to pi by 2 cos 2x into dx. Same like what we have done in the last case here. Integral of cos 2x gives you the answer sine 2x divided by 2. So from the limit 0 to pi by 2. Now you can apply upper limit first sine 2 into pi by 2 divided by 2 minus sine 2 into 0 divided by 2. Now, therefore, you can have cancellation of this. The answer will be sin pi. Sin pi is nothing but 180 degree minus sin 2 into 0 is nothing but 0 divided by 2. So, therefore, sin 180 degree gives you the answer 0 divided by 2 minus you are having here 0. So, 0 minus 0 gives you 0. That is 0 divided by 2. So, that is the final answer. You are going to get it as dear students. Sin 0 degree is always 0, sin 180 degree is also 0 only, right? Now we'll be moving on to the next problem, what they've asked. Integral 4 to 5 e power x into dx. Now integral of e power x is e power x only, which implies that you can write directly e power x from the limit 4 to 5, okay? So which implies apply the upper limit first e power 5 minus e power 4. If you want you can take it as e power 4 common factor. So remaining is, is nothing but e power 1 minus 1. And this is your final answer. You are going to get it as for this question Yes. I hope you got this win also. Now we'll be moving on to the next question. 0 to 4 integral of tan x dx. Tan x dx is log of modulus of secant x, isn't it? So directly we can have which implies that log of modulus of secant x from the limit 0 to pi by 4. Now apply the upper limit first which is log of modulus of secant pi by 4 minus log of modulus of secant 0. Now you can have, you know already secant is a, what is that? Reciprocal of cos. So cos pi by 4 is nothing but cos 45 degree. Cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2. So secant 45 degree is root 2 reciprocal. So therefore you can have log of secant pi by 4 is root 2 minus, you know cos 0 value is 1. So secant 0 also 1. 1 by 1 is always 1. So log of secant 0 value is 1. Log 1 value is nothing but 0. So therefore you can have log of root 2 minus 0 which is log root 2. And this is your final answer. You are going to get it for this question.
now log of root 2 further if you want to simplify you can keep it as it is further if you want to simplify means you can write it as log of root 2 can be written as log of root 2 is 2 to the power of 1 by 2 isn't it now this is like log m power n what is log m power n which is n log m right so therefore n is nothing but 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into log 2 and this is also the answer you can have. So the final answer it is given, it is 1 by 2 into log 2. I hope you understood this one. Now we'll be moving on to the next problem, what they have asked. Integral of pi by 4, that is pi by 6 to pi by 4 cosecant x into dx. Now you know cosecant x integration directly is nothing but log of, log of modulus of cosecant x minus cot x, right? From the limit, what they have given? Pi by 6 to pi by 4. Now, you can apply the upper limit first. Log of wherever x is there, apply pi by 4. Cosecant pi by 4 minus cot pi by 4. This is the upper limit minus. Now, log modulus of cosecant pi by 6 minus cot pi by 6. Now, dear students, you know already cosecant pi by 4 is nothing but cosecant 45 degree. Sin 45 degree, reciprocal of cosecant is sin. Sin 45 degree is 1 by root 2. Cosecant 45 degree is root 2. So, you can apply as which implies log of modulus of cosecant 45 degree is root 2 minus cot pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 is tan 45 degree which is nothing but 1. 1 by 1. Reciprocal of tan is nothing but cot. So, cot 45 degree is also 1. Right. So, minus log of next you are having cosecant pi by 6. Cosecant pi by 6 is nothing but which is sin pi by 6 is sin 30 degree. Sin 30 degree is nothing but you are having 1 by 2. So, cosecant 30 degree is nothing but 2 isn't it so therefore 2 you can write it minus now cot cot 30 degree tan 30 degree is nothing but 1 by root 3 so cot is reciprocal of tan so 1 by root 3 means root 3 by 1 which is root 3 only so, so therefore 2 minus root 3 now you can see here this is log m minus log n log m minus log n is nothing but what which is implies log of m by n that is modulus of root 2 minus 1 divided by n is 2 minus root 3 and this is your final answer you are going to get it as for this question ds i hope you understood this one now we'll be moving on to the next question what they have asked integral of 0 to 1 dx divided by root under the root 1 minus x squared now this is look like what ds integral of dx divided by under the root a squared minus x squared which is nothing but sine inverse of x by a correct sine inverse of x by a therefore you can apply which implies that integral 0 to 1 a replaces here 1 so therefore i can have which implies 0 to 1 dx divided by under the root 1 minus x squared so now here plus c will be there when you move on to the definite integral plus c cannot be written there right so therefore you can have which implies sine inverse of x by a x replaces x only a replaces 1 so which implies sine inverse of x isn't it from the limit what from the limit 0 to 1 now you can apply which implies sine inverse of first apply the upper limit minus sine inverse of 0 now what value gives you 1 which is nothing but sine 90 degree. So, you can have sine inverse of sine 90 degree which is pi by 2 in the radian minus sine inverse of 0 degree is sine 0. So, sine sine inverse will go. The answer will be you are getting it as pi by 2 minus 0 which is nothing but pi by 2. And this is your final answer. You are going to get it for this question ds. I hope you got this one. Now we'll be moving on to the next problem. Integral 0 to 1 dx divided by 1 plus x squared. Now this is in the form of what? It is in the form of tan inverse of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared integration is tan inverse x. So directly you can write down the answer which implies tan inverse of x 
from the limit 0 to 1. So, apply first upper limit tan inverse of 1 minus apply the lower limit tan inverse of 0. So, which implies tan inverse of 1 is nothing but tan 45 degree, right? Which is nothing but 1. Now, tan inverse of tan 0 degree. Now, tan tan will get cancelled. You are going to remain with 45 degree. 45 degree can be written as pi by 4 minus 0 which is nothing but pi by 4. And this is your final answer. You are going to get it as dear students. I hope you understood this one and how to apply the limit and then how to get the answer for that one. So, dears, thank you. In this session, we are going to end up with these many problems of the exercise 7.9. In the next session, we'll be moving on to some more problems of solving the exercise 7.9 itself. So, keep watching. Have a nice day, dears.